This informational film is sponsored by Snickers. Okay. Here we're back with my friend, and he has to go work with some other experts of ESPN. Yeah, I'm just gonna set up the yeah, times with the other players. Okay, we got two interviews, and we got with Bob Dang and Jimmy George. They're two fascinating players with a lot of talents, and we'll, and we'll do a little bit more of the explaining of them, and then we'll show you recordings that we got from their interviews. Oh, he came back, and he's yeah, going to set up the appointment yeah. with the players. He's going to explain a little bit about Bob Dang. Yeah, so we're going to show you Bobby Dang after I tell you about him. He's really good. He can make a lot of threes and stuff like that, but he is not good at rebounds. Yeah, it's out that um, Bob Dang is running a little bit late, so I'll show you the expert on Jimmy George, and then you can learn about him before Bob Dang makes it. Hi. I am very good. I really like Jimmy George. He's, he's great at shooting. He can rebound, and he, he only has one flaw. He can't dribble with his right hand because he's a lot he's still a point guard but he just can't I don't know his coaches tell him to practice it he practices it I've seen his highlights in practice he cannot dribble with his right hand and that's one of his only flaws as a player because if if he didn't have that he he would easily go into NBA and easily because he is so good at layups, he's a great jump shooter, all of that stuff. And now we're gonna show some, now we're gonna show Bob Dang on the Babylonian Baboons. I, I meant to say the Babylonian Bulls. What I, what I was saying, I got mixed up with the Baghdad Baboons. And so now, here is Bob Dang. First question for you, Bob, is what's your second favorite sport other than basketball? My favorite sport other than basketball is probably rugby because I carry around this ball because I really love the sport. So my second question is, is winning like the only important thing for you or do you like love the game? Or... So at the end of the day, I don't really care if I'm the MVP or I'm just for the win. So for my last question, I want to ask you if you would consider going to any other teams or if you love your home team on the Babylonian Bulls. You know, I'd go anywhere as long as we can win. I don't care about the other Babylonian babies on my team, but I just want to win. I'm for the win, you know. Just in time, the interviewer for Jimmy George is here and arrived for the scene. Tell me your first question. My first question is... Do you care about the money, or do you care about the rings, the championships? Hi, I like I like winning. I, I don't care how much I get paid. All I know is I'm gonna get a lot of money, but still, I would rather be on a winning team than a team that just pays me a lot of money and gives me crap. Jimmy, you know I mean? this is a very weird one and a very unknown one, but what is, what is, just be very clear with me, what's your favorite book? I might look like one of those jacks who doesn't read or anything. My favorite book, and I study the law, and I want to be a lawyer someday, is the Constitutional Law 11th edition. It's my favorite one because it tells you the most about the law, and that's exactly what I want. I mean. If I don't become a basketball player, I'm just gonna become a lawyer. So. Hi, there's 1,630 pages in that book, but another one that nobody cares about. I mean, they're just, they, there's just like more definitions, and nobody cares about that. We all know the words. It's not like we're three year olds. And your last question of the day is what's your favorite sport? Hi, my favorite sport is, it's actually baseball. I've been, I actually got, I could have been, I could have been a pitcher for the t 
Toronto Blue Jays, but I said no because I was only in high school. So, yeah, that's easily my second favorite sport. It's probably one of the funnest I've ever played because, I mean, you get to do so much stuff in it. That, I think, I think my interviews are Two See amazing him. interviews from Indiana with Jimmy George to Bob Dane with the Babylonian Bulls. Two amazing teams. And I hope, I hope someday those both teams will finally win back what was rightfully theirs. The, the 20th year anniversary, anniversary it's every 20 years they have this big competition out of all the teams and both of those teams have never won it. They've came so close. Even once they were playing each other but it was a, it ended up in a tie and they didn't let them go into overtime. So we're hoping someday our two favorite teams will win that 20th anniversary. Peace out, bye bye. Uh, now back to eating Snickers.